Have you ever had something in your business, something that you started doing and once you started doing it, you couldn't imagine ever trying to operate your business without it? Have you ever had something like that? Maybe you called it a game changer, a breakthrough. I know those words are a lot of times overused, but to me, a game changer is, is something that it's so impactful that you will shamelessly do it even if your competitor's doing it because it's unfair for anybody to not be doing it or to let someone do it and compete against it. That's a game changer changer strategy, a game changer tactic. Well, here's what I wanna ask you real quick. For me, I have had something for you, have you had it? Have you had one of those things? And what would happen right now to your business if you had something that was a game changer? Like literally just something you hadn't been doing. Maybe you've been in real estate five years, 10 years, 20 years, but literally you haven't been doing this whole time and looking back would have cost you 10 hundreds or if not millions of dollars. Well, for me, that was leveraging surveys. Man, surveys are probably one of the most powerful things you can use in your business. And here's the real truth. The reason people don't use surveys is one is mainly technology has made it a little bit difficult. So you could use SurveyMonkey. Um, it's a free survey sor source that I use for years. I highly endorse it if you're gonna use a free source. There's pros and cons. I don't. I do a lot of surveys. I've done a lot of surveys. I've had to outgrow the free service because it's such an integral part of my business. I wanna layer it in campaigns. And I'm gonna talk to you about a few places where you can use surveys. But because I do so many surveys, the manual updating and the lack of dynamic response which none of that means anything to you right now, is the reason why I do the surveys the way that I do now. And in this video, I'm gonna walk you through the best ways to use surveys, all of the places that you can use surveys, and some of the best survey questions. And guys, if you don't know who I am, if you're new to my YouTube channel, my name is Michael Reese. I'm a real estate agent. I'm also a coach and a digital marketer. I've trained some of the top teams in North America. And the reason I'm shooting this video, and if you like this video, is my goal is to help real estate agents build a business that works harder for them than they do for it by leveraging social media, by leveraging content marketing and digital marketing in order to do that. And if that's something that you like, or if you like this video, do me a favor and go down and hit that like button. And while you're down there, you might as well subscribe and turn on notifications because I put out new content every week. When you turn on notifications, it will let you know when I put out new content. Now let's get back to surveys. So surveys are one of those things that, you know, they're not perceived as marketing. Okay. And you can use surveys in a lot of different places. Now, a lot of people don't know all the places you can use surveys, so I'm gonna give you a handful of places that you can use them. One place that you can use them is at an open house. You can use a survey at an open house. You can literally put a survey on an iPad, and when somebody walks in, you can ask them before or after to complete the survey, A, for a call to action of receiving maybe a free gift. Maybe you're giving free gifts. Your goal at an open house is to build a list of people who you've met, right? Anytime you're gonna sell a home, for the most part, you're gonna meet someone. There's gonna be a, there's gonna be steps in the process of how you meet them the first time, how they then decide to work with you as a client. And so your goal is to always be making offers. And the great thing about surveys is they're not perceived as offers. They're not perceived as salesy. In fact, they're the opposite. They're, they're, they're perceived as you wanting someone's opinion and feedback. And let's face it, lots of people like to give their opinion. So another place that you can use surveys is gonna be database. You can email your database a home ownership survey right now. You could put whatever the year it is. Let's say it's 2024 or 23 or 25, it doesn't matter. You could say home ownership survey 2022. Question number one, do you plan on selling your house in the next 12 months? See the goal of the survey, whether you're doing it online or you're doing it face to face like door knocking. You could go door to door in a neighborhood and say you're doing a home ownership survey. You could use it with circle prospecting with past clients. You could literally, instead of going out to your past clients and asking for a referral, you can do a home ownership survey. And if you know how to do dynamic surveys, dynamic surveys are where you change the question based upon the previous question. So I'll give you an example. Are you hitting your goals as a real estate agent this year? Or let's, let's, let's make it a better question. Do you generate a minimum of 100 inbound leads per month? That's a question. If somebody says no to that question, then I know that I can help them. Now, I could ask them a different question. I could say, are you on a team? Are you a solo agent? It will help me understand that real estate agent and their business a little bit better. And as I get to know their business, then I can critique my messaging to them like let's say they're in the they're towards the end and i said would you like to have a free 30 minute consultation to discuss your business how you can leverage the force multiplier so you can increase your conversion and get geometric growth i'm just giving you an example question or it would be would you like a free strategy session on how you could double your business by leveraging free lead generation online if they click yes to that in the tools that i use and i use a i use a tool called attract roi it's a selfish plug but i do use it because i can dynamically change that net i can literally 
literally embed my calendar if they say yes to that question. I can send them an email. I can put them in a marketing campaign. Imagine this question. Would you like to join a Facebook group, Frisco Home Buyer, so that you could be notified of all the new listings, even the ones that aren't on the market, coming soon, bank owned, foreclosed properties. Like you can literally sell the answer to that question if your goal is to get that prospect to then join your Facebook group. And guys, listen, if you're not join, if you're not, if you don't have a Facebook group for your business, if you're not leveraging YouTube, then make sure you hit subscribe because let me at least over the next couple months, if you're not a believer, let me at least show you, let me demonstrate to you by not only teaching you, but also bringing people on that are doing the things that I'm telling you to do. It's not about knowing what to do. It's about do your results reflect that you know what to do. Let's say you have a brand new client. You could survey them. What could you survey? You could find out important information like their birth date minus their minus their year. You could say, listen, we don't need to know your year, but we'd love to know the, your birthday. That's a survey question. You could offer them something of value. You can do it at the closing table, but Jack Mitchell in the book, Hug Your Customer says, the more hug fields you have, the meaningful communication you can have. That's database marketing. If you haven't watched the video that I did on database marketing, I'll include a link down in the description and somewhere probably up here above, there's a little link that just flashed. Go check it out. Database marketing. Listen, you should be getting double digit client referral ratios. Meaning if you got 100 past clients, you should be getting 10 referrals a year, 20 referrals a year. If you're not, it's because you're not communicating to your database. And one way to communicate to them is by leveraging surveys. You can find out, do they know of anybody that's gonna be making a move? Another thing is live events. Now, let's say a lot of real estate agents, they do live events. What kind of events? Maybe you've done an event at a movie theater where you've rented at a movie theater. Maybe you do like one of my great friends, Diane. Maybe you do seller workshop. Maybe you do new, new home workshops, live events. Events. Any type of live event, you can use a survey. I use surveys and live events. I do workshops where I meet with real estate agents to help them grow their business. And in that event, I teach them for hours, hours, little things that they know they, they need to know that they don't know. So I'm demonstrating that I can help them. And then as I teach them at the end, I do a survey. And in that survey, they have the opportunity to jump on a call with me and find out how my partnership program works and I can help them without charging them a dime. That's a huge, huge thing. And listen to this. If you're going after the consumer or buyer or seller, you can layer your survey in your YouTube descriptions like I do. So I got a partnership detail survey, which someone goes into the descriptions in my YouTube. If they want to know how they can partner with us, how they can, how I could literally help them grow their business without charging them a dime. They go down there, they click the survey, they go through the survey, they end up on a phone call with me. It's an amazing strategy. It's an amazing strategy. Unconverted leads, you can survey them. You can determine timing and motivation. So let's say you're generating a bunch of home evaluation leads, which we know a certain percentage of those are going to sell and a lot aren't. You can ask them in the process. So you can actually survey those individuals and quickly determine timing and motivation. And those those homeowners, those people that completed those surveys, those leads are going to appreciate over time, especially if you're delivering value to them and you can survey them more than once throughout the year. So surveys, whether it's to determine timing and motivation, get somebody to join your Facebook group, it's one of the best things. I call it one of the ultimate slack adjusters. Whenever your business is in a situation where you need to find a deal right now, then all you have to do is use a survey, identify an audience, identify your critical questions that you're gonna be asking that, that audience, what the answers you're looking for. If you put together a survey, here's the thing, let's leave it at this. If you would like help putting together a survey, in the comments below, I'd be more than delighted, literally to like shoot a video on my screen that walks you through how to set up a killer survey to get listings, to get buyers, to recruit agents to your brokerage, doesn't matter. I'll walk you through the principles. If that's what you want, then in the comments below, put survey training, let's say, once we've reached 50 comments, I'll put together training, I'll link it and I'll let everybody know. So make sure you get down there, link the comments. And for some of you first comment leavers, I might have a little surprise for you. I might be able to get you access to the training early because I've already videoed this training actually before. It's actually right there, the survey training right there. Let's see what it says. Frankly, they could get your audience to opt. So some of you, it might be important if you want to do this now just to leave a comment because I can get you access to this in probably a matter of 30 seconds. I'm just joking. But anyway, so leave a comment if you want to have the survey training. I just want to check the temperature. If you like this video and this is stuff you like to learn and you want to get more into the tactics, then make sure you hit like down below while you're down there. Subscribe and turn on notifications. I put out new content every single week. And when you like and you comment and you subscribe, it makes me want to put out more content, more valuable content. I love feedback. So I might actually put a survey down there in the description if there is one 
you can find it by going to the descriptions and checking it out. With that being said, listen, one of the best lives you can live is a life by strategy. And surveys will help you do that because they'll give you your time back. Less chasing and more attraction. Until next time, see you later.